Hello, I'm Savong, head barista trainer for the Brooklyn Roasting Company. And today I'm going to show you how to pull a double shot of espresso the Brooklyn Roasting way. First, we'll need a few tools to get started. A digital kitchen scale, a timer, a portafilter, a flat bottom tamper, and freshly roasted coffee beans. Our signature coffee is the Iris Espresso, a sustainably sourced blend from fair trade certified farms in Sumatra, Peru, and Ethiopia. Like Brooklyn, this coffee is ever-changing. It's full of complexity, nuanced sweetness, and vibrant flavors. Now let's get to it. Remove the portafilter from the group head. Quickly flush the group head, removing any residue. Dry the portafilter. Next, zero out the scale with the portafilter on top. This is tearing. Tearing helps you accurately measure the amount of coffee you'll use in your shot. Next, dose the coffee into the basket. The grind should fall evenly from the bottom of the basket, creating a neat centered pile to the top. The grind should have a consistency resembling fine sugar. Weigh the portafilter again with the coffee grinds inside it. We generally recommend 18 to 20 grams for a double shot. This is about right. So now you want to gently knock the portafilter onto the tamping mat to collapse and settle the grounds. This will help eliminate any air pockets and spotty areas. Next, tamping. It's important to hold the tamper properly so you can ensure a nice, level, even compression. I recommend grasping it like a flashlight, keeping your wrist and forearm straight, point your elbow up, forming a 90 degree angle, and just lean over the portafilter and tamp straight down. It'll create a nice, even compression. Now put the portafilter back into the group head and tighten. Place your serving cup underneath the portafilter and extract your shot. Water follows the path of least resistance, and along the way, it's pulling flavors out of the grounds. A steady, even flow will ensure a balanced brew. Extraction can take anywhere from 25 to 30 seconds. During extraction, we watch the flow closely, keeping an eye out for changes in color and texture as it approaches the desired volume. Stop the extraction when the flow begins to thin out and turn a pale, blondish color. This is called the blonding point. It should happen close to the measured two ounce fill. There you have it, a delicious shot of Iris Espresso.